pity's sake. How much longer? Breakfast. Diaz! Thank heavens! They dragged me off the street. I've been in this hovel for two days. Where's my money, Blinko? Your money? Oh, why didn't you say? I told you you'd get the rest. You will. You've kept it. No. I explained about the park deferred settlement. If you want to expand into Europe, you'll have to go along with our rules. Don't come over here and treat us like fools. Hurt him. <laughs> This is my last emerald. I had to bribe and kill to get them. I trusted you to make the deal. Now, I want my money, and I want it now. Your money's on its way. Here's confirmation from the brokers. Your money's on its way, I swear! You're just a con man. Kill him. Give me another chance. I'll get you the rest and more besides. You want to be a big player, don't you? I am a big player. But not in the Emerald Rackets. Not how you want to be. No, wait. Look. What, you offering me your wife now? He's the key. My wife's father. Come to England with me, and I swear, this man will lead us to all the emeralds you can carry. I can make you the number one. And Leander just phoned to say he can't make it. The Decorating Trades Annual Dinner and Awards. Well, that sounds very grand. Nah. I get two tickets from work. It's naff. But it's a good laugh, as long as you've got someone to go with. Oh. Well, I see. And I'm your last chance, am I? I wouldn't put it quite like that, Nick. Well, um, can I think about it? It's just that, to be honest, my boss is away on an assessment course, and, well, I might have to work late, so... <laughs> When my boss is off, we all leave early. <laughs> you must be a keen lot, you electricians. Yeah. <laughs> Eight o'clock. Yeah, but hang on, it, it says um, dinner jacket here. If you haven't got one, hire one. I'm relying on you. Huh. Morning. Morning. Someone uh, not get to bed last night? Adam took me to this amazing party and, well, the dawn was just so beautiful we forgot the time. So what's this about Jan being out of contact? Yeah, it's uh, part of the rules of her assessment course. Yeah, a world war could break out. But nothing must disturb a human resources evaluation exercise, eh? So let's get on. That is, if you're ready, Alex. 
This man has just arrived in the country, Ignacio Diaz, a Colombian gangster. At the moment, he runs the second biggest organized crime syndicate in the region, but he's desperate to become number one. Well, what does he want here? We're not sure. According to SSD, he traveled with an Englishman. Richard Blanco. Are they regular partners? Well, they have been seen together before in Colombia. This Blanco's got no criminal record. Beckett, I've seen this man before. Yes, this is it. A letter from an old school friend, Sorrel Mandrake. Here it was. And then I met this lovely man, Richard, and you're not going to believe this, but the next thing I knew, we were in Santa Cristina getting married. I knew you'd want to see what he looked like, so here's a photo. Don't blame her. He is lovely. How did they meet? She was in Colombia working for one of the aid agencies. He was on business there. In fact, Sorrel's parents are having a welcome home party for them both. Well, perhaps you better get yourself invited. Yeah, we could go together. I think Ed and I should follow up this Diaz. Alex, why don't you go with Ros? After all, um, you've got your party things, haven't you? So, Jan just stays in blissful ignorance? Yeah. But don't worry about her. She was looking forward to the course. Said it'd be a chance for her to catch up on some sleep. This is no way to test my ability to run Bureau 2. Save your breath, dear, I see. Come on, you can do it. Maybe, but what's the point? Chapter 2, Section 3 of the Standing Orders for Operatives sets precise physical standards. When called upon, your body must be able to respond as well as your mind. In 25 years of covert ops blitter, I've never been asked to row for my country. Well done. 30 seconds faster than the computer prediction. Oh. I thought I'd come last. You did, but not as far behind the others as we thought. I suppose you came first. I've been training for a couple of months. Oh, management assessment. What a waste of time. Not if it weeds out those who don't measure up. The service is changing. The days of sipping martinis and leather armchairs are long gone. Are you sure you're, uh, comfortable down there, Beckett? Just keep your mind on the job, Ed. Wouldn't surprise me if Adam and Alex got married one day. No chance. She's in love, Beckett. He'll pass. Don't worry. Last window and you're right. He has his claim to be a businessman drumming up exports. I thought most exports from Colombia were illegal ones. All that coffee. Bananas. Crude oil. No bananas here, Beckett. Not even a computer or fax. Not exactly an enterprise zone. Uh-oh. Diaz has come back with a trio of heavies. I've only just got here. They're entering the lift now. You've got about 30 seconds, I'd say. Where do you gain this? Hey, don't cut it too fine. They don't look the time to appreciate unexpected guests. Hold on, there's a drawing here. It's a, it's a plan of a building or something. Grab it and get out, Ed. Ed, get out now. That's an order. Left the window open. Okay, top landing's clear. Get out. That's 
see Adam do that. Ed, you're getting obsessed. There's Sorrel and her father. And there's her husband, Richard Blenko. What on earth could he be doing with a gangster like Diaz? Oh, there's only one way to find out. What about Sorrel? Would she mind if we start bugging her new husband? Probably, but be discreet and with any luck she'll never know. Mrs. Sorrel Blenko. Ross! Oh, you made it! It's been ages! Oh, you look wonderful. Do you remember my father? Of course. Hello, Mr. Mantry. Mm -hmm. Ros Henderson. Did you ever find that job with horses? Horses? No, uh, Mr. Mandrake, I gave up horses when I was 12 oh. after you showed me how radios work. <laughs> so what exactly are you doing now, Ross? Oh, same as your father. I work for the government. Oh, memos, meetings, ministers, nothing so dreary, surely. <laughs> no, I'm in communications. Similar field to you. Oh. You'd be amazed how many of your comms devices are still in active service. Uh, uh, that's treasury meanness, not the ongoing brilliance of my design. Owen, uh, over uh, here. Excuse me. Look at you. <sighs> Look at you. God, I cannot believe you're married. Oh, it's so romantic, being swept off your feet by a handsome stranger. Mm. No, just stupid. What? Ros Richard's a fool. Beautiful, charming, dangerous fool. Oh, God, I'm so I'm sorry. <laughs> it's OK. It's just my earring. <laughs> Unusual design. Isn't it? Oh, allow me. How is it fastened? Um. Sorry, excuse me. It just took off. Yeah. Can't you wait? Sorry, just step outside. I'll explain. And suddenly he's very keen to talk to Mr. Mandrake. Expect foot. Only take a moment. Ross, look. It's Diaz. Oh, it! Go, go! Right. Is some sort of scam? Another one of your tricks? No! Go, go, go! No! Your old bureau, too. Well, thank God you were there. We knew this Diaz was dangerous, and we were aware that Richard knew him. What the hell's Richard up to? You don't deserve this. I'm sorry. I knew he had a silver tongue. Guessed he was a con man, but a kidnapper. And what would they want with me? I've got no money. Well, maybe it's something else they want, something to do with your work. I haven't done secret project stuff for years. Mostly admin these days. Does this mean anything to you? Good heavens. I was looking at some old specs of these the other day. This is a ground plan for an RSG. A what? Regional seat of government. They were bunkers built in the 50s and 60s when everybody thought the nuclear war was just around the corner. As the idea was to provide secret hideaways from which to govern the country in case the capital was destroyed. Why are Diaz and Blanco interested in these RSGs? Aren't they all disused? Yes, all closed down. Some have been sold off or built over. I'll drive you home. Alex, you dig all the files out of the central depository. Meantime, I better find you somewhere safe to stay. This next assignment carries a maximum of 50 credits. better if you follow the guidelines in this. Would you like to borrow my copy? No, thank you. Books are no substitute for practical experience. What about the Maynard and Holland, the revised edition? Everything you ever need to know about the job is in there. I can manage without that, too. Thanks. It's never too late to learn. 
I'm disappointed. Not very good, is it? Bottom of the class. Luckily, none of it matters. Oh, but it does. Frankly, dear YC, your attitude disappoints as well as your marks. And if there's not a big improvement in both, I'll have to recommend you move to a non-operational post. Sorrel, it's not good news, I'm afraid. We think the plans Ed found came from your father's papers. Richard must have stolen it for Diaz. And how can he do this to us? Beckett's taken your father to his flat. If you want to ring him, here's the number. It's all my fault. But why was I so stupid? Why did I fall for him? It's very plausible. up to your eyes with the aid program and strolls this hero from a romantic novel. You seem like a beacon of light among all the misery and despair. That was all just patter. Do you know he's so devious he even locks the study door. Your father, where is he? Tell me. Oh. Uh, no sorrow. Uh. It's a simple intruder alarm, but it's effective enough. Now, there's also a panic button inside the living room. Now, whatever you do, don't answer the door. Hold on. Hi. Hi. Sorry to come in. Did you hire a suit? I'm sorry. I knew you wouldn't, so I took the liberty. But I wasn't sure about the size. Crystal, look, about tonight. I've got it upstairs. Do you want to try it on? The thing is, I'm actually still working at the moment. Um, this is Mr. Mandrake. This is Krista. Mr. Mandrake is um, one of our best clients. Pleased to meet you. Come and try it on. Well, can't Mr. Mandrake be left alone even for a moment? Oh, go on. Go on. OK, I'll, I'll, I'll be along in a moment. Set the alarm. OK, I won't be long. I'm sorry. are on their way to collect you. If you don't want your daughter hurt, I suggest you go with them. Look, I'm sorry about this, but I really should get back. You might let me down. No, I'm really looking forward to it. And thanks for the suit. Lovely. Mr. in the country and look what they sent. 
was expecting just a few discs. What are these old files on the RSGs? You haven't seen the half of it. There are four more trolleys downstairs. What? This is going to take forever. That poor Sorrel. Being taken in by a creep like Blenko. It's funny, isn't it? People think they're in love. It makes them blind. Wouldn't happen to me. Ed, Alex, they've got Mandrake. I'm at Sorrel's house. Something's wrong. There's been some kind of struggle. But no sign of Ros or Sorrel. In January, about this, there'll be hell to pay. Have you got anything from those files yet? Yes. Everything you've always wanted to know about RSGs and more. Dates of construction, types of equipment, even the orders for paint. I'm not interested in interior design. Just facts. Sorry, Beckett. There's so much, it's hard to know what's relevant. I found some papers here. This one looks like the original of that sketch we found at Diaz's place. There's also a lot of paperwork relating to RSGs here. Got some kind of list of all the sites and Blenko's marked two of them. The trouble is the sites are only identified by code number. I've got an index of code references. Which two are they? The first one is BZ stroke 489 stroke delta. No address, but I've got a grid reference. It looks like it's in the city. I'll check the geographic database. According to this, it's a building site. Or at least it was in the 1970s. You know, if they got into an old RSG, what could they do? And they all had powerful radio transmitters. Perhaps they want to... Broadcast to the nation. I don't think Blenko or Diaz have any political ambition. Only one thing talks for them, and that's money. BZ 489 Delta. They've built an office block over it since then. Well, will you go and check that one out? I'll go to this second one. AS stroke 308 stroke Alpha. AS 308 Alpha? It's in the country. It's in the basement of an old Victorian country house. Harding House. The deployment of manpower is one of the most important ingredients in contingency planning. This is ridiculous. This program won't let me assign a lone agent. No, 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 that's part of the terms of reference. But it doesn't make sense. In the real world, you have to adapt to circumstances. This simulation hasn't been thought out properly. Your challenge is to complete the test, not to criticise it. I've had enough of this. I don't need your pathetic little games to tell me whether I'm fit to do my job. I prove myself every day. If they want a robot to run Bureau 2, I know exactly where they can find one. Big favour. Where's Nick's phone? Oh, please. Sorry, ma'am. Can't tell you. I know the rules, but I'm breaking them. I've had enough. I'm walking out. You wouldn't be the first. I remember a previous Jan who almost came to blows with one of the assessors. She became chair of covert operations. Don't say I told you. I'll memo you for an efficiency increment. Hello, uh, could I have a car, please? The address is... Hello? Hello? Your security clearances, please. Will this do? What the? Hold him! Get hold of his arm! No one leaves, no one comes in. Bring Mandrake in here and then get started in the basement. Carlos and I will make sure the building is secure.
In this situation, I'd advise you to take the route over the roof. The key is to have the element of surprise. Scooter, OK? What the hell? building is under our control. Just do as you're told and nobody will get hurt. You won't succeed. You're totally outnumbered. But you're totally unarmed. Give me a needle. Roll your sleeve up. That's the door to a regional seat of government. But why are you interested in that? It's defunct, useless. Marco, get us through there. Those old papers of yours, the main power is still connected. Let's see if they're right. Oh. I told them the time. Disconnect everything before mothballing. But as usual, they wouldn't listen. So far. Thank you. Power up the control panel, please. I can't do that. Why not? The main power distributor was removed when this place was decommissioned. I got my way on that. Thank goodness. Will anything work without it? Oh, no. Nothing could be activated at all. You said this man was the key to a fortune. And I was stupid enough to believe you. There's a way round it, I'm sure. You designed all this. Can't you wire it up? Make it work? Possibly. But I'm not going to. Marco? Dad, if you can, please do what they want. He'll kill us both. Shame. All because you won't do a simple piece of wiring. Look, wait. Maybe we could work on this together. You? Yeah. I know a little bit about electronics. the quick route to my job. How did they miss you? I've always had this phobia. When they pulled out a syringe, I fainted. Well, if they didn't bother to sedate you, it means they're not expecting to be in the building for long. Oh, I feel so stupid. Look, you survived. That's the main thing. This is the real world now. Come on. Just you and me. Is there anybody else? Come on. Everything's working out fine. I've dealt with corrupt officials, lying generals, crooked politicians. I saw through them. So why was I taken in by you? Charm and good looks, darling. Oh, spare me. 
Why are you doing this? I have this problem with money. I can't get enough. You really are scum. You're not even a successful scum. Beckett, we're at the RSG site in the city. There'll be loads of businesses here. Which one are Blanco and Diaz interested in? Well, something with a Colombian connection. Well, there's nothing to do with coffee or bananas. Hang on. If they want to use the old RSG, that'll be under the building. What's in the basement? IEE. -E. What's that? The International Emerald Exchange. Our work has almost eradicated emerald smuggling. We help to stabilize price and regulate supply. Emeralds, of course, are more scarce than diamonds and more valuable. Colombia is the world's largest producer. So do you keep emeralds here on the premises? We have several thousand gems in our vault in the basement. Beckett! We found their target. Emeralds? What do you reckon their plan is? There's no sign of Diaz or Blanco here. It must be something to do with where you're going. Harding House. Yeah. Well, I've discovered something else about that place, too. It's an official building, used for training and assessment. They wouldn't confirm it, but I'm sure that's where Jen is. Are you sure about this? Oh, we need to get word out. I've retuned the RSG's intercom to my team's radio frequency. If... What's going on? I was asking her to check the connections. It's ready. How do we activate it? That switch. No. You do it. Please. Do you think I've booby-trapped it? There. We'll both soon be multi-millionaires. Get over to the Emerald Exchange. Marco here will keep an eye on you. He knows where his loyalty lies. If I give the word, you know what to do. What was that? They're all down in the basement. We've got to raise the alarm. How? We'll deal with the man on the front door and then get out of the building. Right. How do we do that? I like to think this building's impregnable. In fact, if I were a betting man, I would like to... Yes? How much? One of the emeralds in your vault? <laughs> I said if I were a betting man. The vault. No one can get near it. But it's directly over the old RSG. The vault has ten-foot thick concrete walls, floor and ceiling. Not only that, it has one of the most sophisticated electronic locking systems available. The RSG has to be the key somehow. That's our target. You've reactivated a decommissioned regional seat of government. I suppose you think you're going to use it. Quite a trick, really, using technology from 40 years ago to do a job for you today. What? Something to do with you. What's the matter? I'm afraid someone will hear us. Ros. We're 30 meters underground. Ed, Alex, Ross is with Blenko. She's found a way to get on air. Switch to emergency high band. We're totally secure. No one's listening. Let me go. The 
course, getting on top of you. It's, uh, testing. <coughs> There's a man called Blenko. Working with a man called Diaz to rob the Emerald Exchange. Good. Glad you're fully briefed. Let me introduce you to Melissa. She'd like to run the Bureau one day. Come on, Jen. Roz is trying to tell us what's happening. These RSGs are essentially communication centres. What possible use can you have for them? This RSG is part of a network. Six bunkers able to operate independently or together. Our target was built over one of the RSGs in this network. Yeah, and we're in it. In this control room, I can operate the emergency all-frequency radio transmitter in the other RSG. Designed to search for signs of life after an all-out nuclear war. It's a very powerful transmitter. I see. So you hope that the power from here will trigger a reaction at the other site. You're using this RSG to gain access somewhere else. Exactly. The interference will completely disrupt all the electrical equipment in our target building. I'm in position now. Activating transmitter now. Send a telegram while we put our feet up and make some tea, yes? I've got the gems, but I'm trapped in front of the vault. Do something! Look, I've got my own problems here. What do you expect me to do? Get me out of here! By the way, Blenko, I've left a little surprise with Marco, just in case you try to run out on me. Marco, do it now. You live in a fantasy world, Blenko. You need something to concentrate your mind. Now get me out of here! Does that other RSG have an emergency escape route? Come on, if that thing goes off, we all go together! Yes. We'll activate it. No. Do it, or Sorrel dies now. I shall remember you when I'm back home running the Emerald Syndicate. Marco, do it. 
Marco? What are you doing? The blast doors. He's triggered the auto lock. Found a way out. Look. It's an entrance to the old RSG. Can we raise this? It's going to be hand cranked. Excuse me. Come on. I'll go in after him. Right. I'll find another way in. I'm sure there was something on those plans. Controls are starting to malfunction. Door open, the bomb's gonna go off. It's useless. A warning was a lash up over the gate. Blanco, get me free and I'll try to defuse it. Marco's taking the keys for the handcuffs. Find an axe, crowbar, anything. I can't hear anything. What do you reckon? Well, we've got to get this door open. You better help. I think I know. I've been reading through some old home defense maintenance logs. Apparently, these doors have a tendency to fail, so a modification was introduced to obviate the problem. Yes. Here. Pull it! Time to start divorce proceedings. See you tomorrow. Bye. Another night out. I admire her stamina. He's not right for her. Adam, I think they're very well suited. 
Come on, Edgy, you had your chance. Wow. Hey, hey. You look nice. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Welcome back, Jan. Nick, I feel jealous of whoever she is. Oh, there's really no need. It's an all-male affair, a naval reunion. Oh, shouldn't you be wearing decorations? Even you must have some bit of ribbon. They're optional. <laughs> well, I should get going. I don't want to keep the vice admiral waiting. So, how was your final assessment? Commander Cordray finally agreed that actions spoke louder than words. So, I'm reconfirmed in my post, and I don't have to submit to another assessment for five years. And Melissa? Signed on for courses in unarmed combat and bomb disposal. I should be fine. Eventually. Hey! It's a perfect fit. You look fabulous. You look like some sort of secret agent. Are you sure you're an electrician? Of course I am. What do you want me to do, eh? Test your resistance. <laughs> a funny one you are. Security, zoom in on camera six. Things aren't always as they seem. 